Hello friends, here in this video we will see the definition of strain, what is meant by strain and its explanation in detail. So let us get started. Strain, it is defined as the deformation to external loading next it can also be defined as the ratio of change in length to the original length so here I have written the definition of strain that it is the deformation to external loading or it can also be defined as a ratio of change in length to original length so this I can explain again with the help of a diagram now suppose we have a rod here and load is applied to the rod in upward direction and in downward direction let me say that the length of this rod is L now under the action of this load P if I denote the diameter also diameter as small d so when we are applying a pull type of load this is a pull type of load which I have shown in the diagram which will try to pull this rod so because of this pulling the rod will go on decreasing in its diameter and the length of the rod will go on increasing so this is very much clear when we are pulling a rod like I can take this pen as an example of a rod if I am pulling this pen then the length of this pen will go on increasing and its diameter will go on decreasing so this physical deformation which we see in an object that is called as strain and here it can also be defined as the ratio of change in length to original length the length of this rod which is changed that would be denoted by delta L delta L is equal to change in length so here I'll say that mathematically the formula of strain is strain is equal to change in length upon the original length so here is strain and if I want to know the unit of strain change in length will be in terms of mm original length will also be in terms of mm 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 gets cancelled out it means strain has no units so now as I was explaining strain is the physical deformation it means the deformation which we can see in any member that would be called as strain here in this case I am pulling the rod so the length will go on increasing diameter will go on decreasing now suppose if I am compressing the rod that is in case of compression the direction of the load would be changed 
and then length will go on decreasing and diameter will go on increasing so that is also called as strain it is the physical deformation and stress it is the internal property of a material which resists external loading so stress is that which we cannot see but strain is that quantity which is visible in the form of change of shape so here the strain which we are getting it is also called as strain is also called as linear strain so here in this video we have seen the definition of strain and the concept behind what is meant by strain